How's it going on you game trailers out there? Sir Ray's here and welcome back to today's video. We are playing Put a Sock in It, which by the beginning picture here, it looks kind of interesting. It looks like a whole bunch of puppet action going against each other. So we're going to go ahead and jump right into this here. And I'm super duper excited because I haven't recorded a video in a second because of all my finals and all my schoolwork and all the different things I've had to do. So it is exciting to be back here recording videos again. So let's go ahead and do it with Serena. Sigh. I walked out of the stairwell again. At least there's a window this time. Yeah, there, it's, an, it's a pretty nice window you got there. <laughs> the help up there, that's pretty funny. Maybe someone will come find me soon. Maybe. Or maybe you'll just be locked in that staircase like Harry Potter for the rest of your life. Serena's still here. Did she really play tic-tac-toe by herself? Nope. Everyone left early to enjoy the weekend, just like I wanted to. If only I could fast forward part through this part of my life by pressing the control key, like in all those other games. Well, I don't think you're able to. Maybe then I would be happy then. I just messed up that entire line, but that's okay. <laughs> I'm not bitter. I just wish someone cared enough to wonder where I was. Yeah, that would be nice, I'm sure. Her artistic skills are amazing. It's funny how the Fallout guy is looking up at the guy up there just like, Oh my goodness, look at that. There isn't even the worst place in the world that I've been locked in. Sigh. We don't want to think about that, Serena. Well, as usual, I guess it's just me and me. What? Are those puppets? Oh my goodness, Anna, Ralph, and Julian. Let's tell stories. Would you guys like that? Yes, that would be quite nice. Ah, uh, I guess. The story takes place in a magical kingdom just out of town. Oh, I love it there. So, what happens? Oh, okay, so we get to choose which one is which. So let's go ahead and do the ghost first up. Let's go on and get him Ralph a ghost. I'm a, sp I'm a spooky, spooky ghost. Be afraid. <laughs> okay, and you are going to go ahead and be a wizard. Because wizards are cool, so you're going to be a wizard, Harry. Well, I'm the all-powerful and super evil wizard, Narafo. Yes, you are. Congratulations, Narafo. Okay, let's see how this goes. Are you haunting me? Why are you haunting me? Because I don't see anyone else around. Yes, I'm here to remind you how terrible you are. <laughs> well, thank you. Wait, don't I know you? Are you a princess? Are you death? Are you the ghost of Christmas past? Well, being near Christmas, I feel like it's appropriate for the ghost of Christmas past, so... Well, you're the ghost of Christmas past, aren't you? Ghost of Christmas Past? Really? You're going there? That's rich, Narfo. You killed me last Christmas, and you're already going to throw it in my face. Real nice. Well, I didn't mean to kill you. No, wait. Yes, I did. You are the worst. Here, I thought you would take this important time out of my busy ghost schedule and do you a favor, and this is how I'm treated? Do me a favor? You're dead, Silo. If I wanted advice on how to be dead, I would ask you. Otherwise, I don't see what you have to offer me. <laughs> Stop that. That's my line. Narafo. Narafo. As you're always being so blind. Forgive me. I'll do what you want. More as teeth spare test. Forgive me. Forgive me. How does it go again? Hold on. I have this memorized. What? Just give me a second. Oh, I got it. <laughs> Listen, you. I'm sorry for what happened to you. I didn't mean to kill you in such a painful manner. You were just kind of there at the wrong place at the wrong time, and it just happened to be particularly wrathful, as I am prone to get most times of the day. Let's not point any fingers at who's to blame. You want to live. I disagree. It's a moral gray area for the best of us, but I hope we can move past this and both of us can become better people and or ghosts for it. 
Oh, how I loathe you! That's never gonna... That never does seem to work. I wonder why. I'm not sure if I want to help you now. Oh, please. Like you know something. In fact, I do. And your very faith rests upon what I know. I think it. I love you. This is happening. This isn't happening. I am all powerful. Let's go ahead and go with I think I love you because you know why not? It's Christmas time. Everyone loves everyone during Christmas time. Silo, you are the you are as beautiful as we are dead. It's hard of me to admit this now, but I've always loved you. Ugh, why? I don't know. Mostly, I love everyone a little bit, just in case something can happen there. That's that's not saying much after all, Narfo. You and you are always a creep. You are too kind, but my feelings for you have never changed. All right, I'll tell you everything. I did this tarot reading, and it said your already infested and grown toenail is going to get more infected in the next few days. Ew! I hate ingrown toenails. Please, never again. Please. I'm not sure what that comes from, but I would recommend getting new slippers and wearing flip-flops to the bathroom. Is that all? I thought it would be something a little more serious. Okay, Narafo, don't wear flip-flops. See where it gets you. Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll wear them. It just... Ugh. We didn't learn anything this time, did we? Speak for yourself. I learned things, many things. I'm just telling you. Stingy. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and continue with this one again, and we're gonna go ahead and go back, and we're not gonna do the Ghost of Christmas Past, we're gonna go ahead and do Death, and then we'll do Princess, we're gonna do Death. No! You came here in a dream. You're Death, aren't you? Please, it's not my time yet, I'm only 400 years old! There must be so much more for me to learn and destroy! Whoa, whoa! Mr. Narafo, it's Dale, not Death. Remember? From Accounts Revival, one worth saving and loan? Gosh, do I really look that bad? Yeah, sort of. New haircut? Sigh. Ghost barbers. Barbers. It's like they don't even try anymore. I'll give you what you want. So, what do you want, Dale? And are you are you here to haunt me like all the others? Actually, I'm here on behalf of the bank. You missed your last four payments of your loans, including your second mortgage on this castle, and you've been ignoring our letters. Wait, you mean you're on the clock here? Yeah, retirement isn't all that's it's cracked up to be. It's just a little too much freedom, you know. I didn't know what to do with all my time. You're not retired. You're dead. I like that. It's Wizard is so blunt and like obvious. You're not retired. You're dead. Yeah. Potato, potato. So about the replacement. Well, I've been working hard on getting the money. I just need a little more time. For some reason, people always die before telling me where their riches are. It has to be a curse someone put on me. I'm not afraid that's how we operate, Mr. Narfato. I have been authorized to notify you and ghost person that given how things stand, your sis will be repossessed and sold off at auction, and the bank will be foreclosing your castle. No! Not my precious stuff! This isn't this isn't happening. Actually, let's go and go all powerful. This I, this should be good. Do you have any idea how powerful I am? Go on and bring your repo man and repo woman. Let's see what happens. I'll make ghosts out of all of you. And Wolpert's saving and loans will greatly regret angering me. <laughs> wow, you should see the look on your face. Boy, do I have you going. What? What's going on here? I'm not Dale from the accounts revival. <laughs> so, oh, so you're... You're not here about the loans. Nope. Everything's just fine. <laughs> well, not exactly. You see, I am death. I am here to take your soul. Well, wait. So I was right the first time. Oh. Bleh. Famous last words. 
I like those last words. Whenever I'm on my deathbed, all that I'm going to say is, bleh, whenever I go on. So, look out for family in the future. That's what I'm going to do. Okay, let's see if I learned any lessons this time. Your performance was way off, Rolf. You need to work on that. That's what she said. <laughs> yeah, that's what I said. Okay, so let's go and continue. And let's do the last scenario one more time. Wait, don't I know you? I yes, yes, you're the princess I kidnapped that time. But wait, weren't you supposed to be in the dungeon? Yeah, you... You left me in the dungeon and didn't give me any food or water. So now I'm here for some sweet revenge. <laughs> and what will you do what? I can't speak today. And will you do what exactly? How about this? <laughs> or this? That's not very effective. All right, fine. I guess I'm gonna annoy the crap out of you for the rest of your life. I am. I'm Francisco the Eight, I am. I'm Francisco the Eight, I am, I am. Wait, you're not Francisco the Eight. I got married to a widow next door. He's been married seven times before. And everyone was a Franiska. Franiska! He wouldn't have a Georgie or a Pori. No Pori. No, no, no. Anything but that. Uh, 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 uh. What do I want to say? I've already said forgive me. Let's go and do this here. Princess, if you'll just listen to. Princess, they eat some pig. I got a spear tis. Gee. Was that supposed to kill me? Well, you got me. Look at that. I'm dead. Still. <laughs> oh, I, if I wasn't dead before, I guess you killed me now. So, good job with that. Yeah. Uh, that didn't sing you to Hades? Nope. And you don't feel compelled to leave forever? Nope. I am, however, very pissed off right now. Please, don't do something you're gonna regret. I'm Freddy's goes the eight, I am. Freddy's goes the eight, I am, I am. Sweet gods, have mercy, I agree. These songs are amazing. Uh, this isn't happening. Freddy's goes the eight, I am, I am. No, nope, not listening, not listening, not, no, listening. not listening. I got I'm married to a widower next no, store. No, no. He is I married seven times before. You say. I am. <sighs> You're stronger than this, Neferto. Don't give in to the song's dark powers. And everyone was a Franiska. Franiska! No, no, no. She wanna have a Georgie or Porcy. No Porcy. God, I can't take it anymore. Second first, same as first. I'm Franiska the eighth, I am. Franiska's the eighth, I am. I believe my work is done. I got married to the widower next door. He's been married seven times before. What else, what else? Dum de dum. Hey, those are supposed to be important life lessons. We're changing the world here. You thought that was going to change the world? <laughs> Maybe. Somewhere out there, there's someone looking down on us right now and smiling. Possibly cringing. But that was definitely made. So yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video here. Let me know down in the comments if you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, I might go ahead and do another episode of this. Because you know what? It's a weird, weird game. But it allows me to act out and be a little bit foolish. And you know what? I like things like that whenever I can act weird and foolish and things like that. So yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you guys have enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to smack that like button for me. Thank you guys so, so much for the support. Do the dang thing. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Adios.